I was putting Severus Snape back in his cave. I got asked this at work today by the plasterers. Would you fuck an alien? That's such a girl alien. Dude, that's such a plasterous question to ask. <laughs> that makes so much sense. Literally. <laughs> Let's say, hypothetically, the alien was like good looking. Let's say it's like Roger or Finley. Go- oh no, um, American <laughs> no. dad. <laughs> well, that's what I asked him. I was like, is this alien looking like Paul? You know, Paul. Yeah, yeah, Paul I'll put yeah. one through Paul. You do Paul. Dude, he's a, he's a fucking icon. I'd do Paul for the money. Bro, 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 bro would, would fucking put social status. Yeah. Bro, you <laughs> wouldn't even know. You just hold his breath and then no one would even know. Oh, true, because he turns invisible. Yeah, think oh, that sounds really yeah, fun. Boy. Wait, that sounds so bad until yeah. I clarify <laughs> Dude. that. Dude, <laughs> that's what, did you see my face yeah. when he said that? <laughs> yeah, but like, you've got to understand Paul to understand what I've just said, mate. And mm. I understand Paul. Yeah. If there's one person on fucking earth that understands Paul, it's me. <laughs> Literally. And you don't understand much. No, but I understand Paul. <laughs> We're making that pretty clear. He understands we? a lot about nothing. Yeah. I know a little You're bit. You're one of those everything. guys who so knows a little bit about everything. Yeah. A like, little bit. You know, or says trait, he does. Or just can't master it. That's what like, the cunt that knows everything, but has never mastered one thing. <laughs> the only thing you've mastered is ratchet straps. Yeah, I've got yeah. that on the bitch. Or putting the the torno cover down on a car. Oh, bro. Yeah, I've got some serious pace behind that. Yeah. Quite intimidating. So, would you fuck an alien, Jacko? Yeah, back to the questions. Um, well, that's like, are we saying the alien's hot or? I mean, if the opportunity presents itself. Dude, you fuck but an like alien just to say you fucked an alien. It's, yeah. Like, <laughs> come on. True. It's not that deep, dude. It's an you alien. Are, you are so, like, your world knowledge is out of this hemisphere. Yeah, like, you are so Obviously, wise. I know a couple other worlds too with this, this alien shit, boys. <laughs> and I'm telling you, if, it's, if there's an alien on the table. So you're saying this alien will take you to the promised land. <laughs> I'm saying after, that after blowing its back out. I'm saying after I gave it my rocket ship, it'd take me on a rocket ship. That's what I'm saying. Rocket ship? You don't know. You Sweet can't. Potatoes. You can't assume. <laughs> you can't assume what they're arriving in, dude. All right, enough fucking alien Chip chat. Chips so woke. Yeah, <laughs> legit. Period right, sex. Go, let's go hard into this now. Yeah. All right, welcome back to the Mayfield podcast. I am Jackson, and this is Chip Cox Smoker McGrath <laughs> and Jordan Medical Miracle Cox. Oh, he's <laughs> I'm back with the name day. <laughs> that's a good oh, one. Oh, we oh, are a potty that's clinical. Bye mates, four mates. Um, we've got a lot on this episode. We're going to be talking about our Mad Monday antics. Mm. Are you okay day? Mm. And then sort of whatever else comes out of our mouth. Yeah. But like always, we're going to start with what made and broke us. Right, I'll kiss off. So boys, what broke me last night, the last scene ever on Game of Thrones. Oh, we finished it. And the last episode Spoiler alert. is the <laughs> shittest way to ruin your life. Bro, it sucked. It ruined the whole fucking show for me. That was the quickest eight seasons ever for you. Eh? Oi, we got through some work. Eh? Dude, I reckon about five episodes ago, you said what made you was he started Game of Thrones. Last time, oh, yeah. I, last um, time yeah. I was at his house, man, he was on like season two, episode one. <laughs> yeah, season literally. eight, mate. Episode eight or whatever. But it ruined me. <laughs> it, I, actually, I was crying, bro. Like, I cried when... Yeah, I teared up at the end. Really? Yeah, it's sort of hard it's to far, explain yeah. if you haven't watched it, I've, but... I've never watched it as well, so I'm a bit confused. I was so invested. It's worth it. And then know. what made me was... Boy, I Not got a nad, by the way. Getting over my hangover is what made me. I didn't think it would end. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, literally. I got, and what, every morning I'd wake up and go, is it done? Is it done? I'd stand up and go, no, not today. Another day of fucking hell. This this <laughs> morning, I'm, I'm the exact same boat, Chip. The whole week I was like, this is never ending. Yesterday I came good. This morning I woke up and I felt like I was on the biggest come down ever. Yeah, it's <laughs> like fun. it just hit me like a truck again. But, but anyway, on the plus side of that, I'm going to turn a fucking negative into a positive. Didn't call in a sick, sick to work once. And I tell you what, I defeated all odds through that. That dude. is brave. You usually like to take your time. Oh, to I'm recover. pretty. I'm pretty good for a sick day after a big one. Hey, I'm <laughs> yeah. pretty fucking safe for one. I was just like unusually sweet in the mornings before work, but during work, I was like. So shit, man. Like, mm. I could not fucking do anything. Yeah. It, it wasn't as bad as last year's, to be honest. Last year's Mad Monday, I remember Coxie, Harry, and I had fish and chips, and I had, like, schizophrenia. Oh, that was bad. I had that one chip really and bad. put it down. It was fucked. Yeah. And then I got something to add on top of it. Something really weird happened to the Sarbo boys at work. So I was working in the back, and I came up in the buggy, and there was three cars just r- that ripped into the yard. I was like, what the fuck's going on? These two cheeks crying their eyes out, and then there's this massive bloke that looks like he's from prison, and his scat missus screaming at him. What like the fuck? Screaming at him. Is this at the yard? Yeah, like at the your yard. work yeah. yard. And then we're like, after it all diffused, we ended up happening was she hit their car, 
but did no damage at all. There was no damage at all. And they were trying to, they chased her around the fucking, like, off the highway. And she pulled into the yard because she saw a bunch of blokes and thought, like, oh, if these people want to, like, really hurt me, they might be able to help me. So she saw you and went, that's my hero. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, I was in the golf cart and this bloke's reversing out. Her, his wife's driving, like, a commie ute. She does a burnout out of the fucking yard, bro. Like, spinning the wheels. And chip ran over. No, I go, I go to, like, cut, like throw some serious chat at this bloke. And I look in the fucking driver's seat and he's got to be the scariest cunt I've ever seen in my life. I thought if I saw a word, said a word, I would just get king hit straight away. So I didn't say anything, but like my life fra- flashed in front of me. It was so I, scary. Well, I, I could have pictured you like ripping off your work shirt, covering yourself in oil and going, I <laughs> could be your hero, <laughs> yeah. baby. But I like, had the like, rubbing a bit over slow-mo. Love, rubbing a bit of grease on him and yeah. all that. And yeah. Like, girls, you were right. <laughs> but I had the lippiest line and saw him. I was like, oh, no, nah, this one's getting involved. <laughs> the Commodore was so fitting as well. Mm. So it was fitting. so scat, dude. It was so weird. Though. If it wasn't a Commodore, it would have been a Ford Falcon. Let's just yeah. say. Well, I was kind of on the buggy and I was like, oh, there's a bit of cars here like trying to dro- dodge traffic and shit. I was like, oh, this is fun. And then I see this car. I was like, oh, this isn't fun anymore. He's fucking huge. <laughs> I'll tell you what, if you want help, his workyard is not the place to go, eh? Hey? Nah. It's the first place I'd go, mate. If you walked in there, you'd get the living shit beaten out of you. <laughs> We'd send you back in fucking mail envelopes, bud. <laughs> <laughs> Zing! Yeah. All right. What about you, boys? How was your week? Um, shit. But what? <laughs> <laughs> what made me was the week's finally over. The week's yeah. finally over. No more commitments on our weekends. So like, tomorrow, yeah. Tomorrow and Sunday, I've got nothing on. I can actually go and enjoy my weekends. So I'm excited about that. That's what's made me. It's so like, nice. You yeah. don't feel like you have to prepare for anything yeah. now. Yeah, hundred percent. So I'm happy about that. That's what's made me. And what broke me. This is disgusting. Dude. Someone stole my Birkenstocks mid-bender on Mad Monday. There's a couple of things you don't do on a bender. What? You don't steal a bloke's fucking Birks. No. This is when, like, public execution needs to be legal. Yeah, yeah. literally. This is... This, <sighs> They're how almost brand steal, new. Yeah. How do you steal but someone's Birks? Now you know. They were the best Birks ever. I, they'd just been molded perfectly <laughs> yeah. into my feet. Like, what's the point of stealing them? They don't even match your feet. The bloke who stole them would have, like, stood in them and gone, huh, that feels a bit yeah. fucked because, like, they mold to your feet, yeah. obviously. And then just- wa- And they, they just keep walking. Wandered off. Whoever yeah. stole them is the villain of Mad Monday. <laughs> oh, literally. And he needs to come forward. How he you- needs to come forward. Wait. St- steal anything I have. Steal, steal anything I own, but do not steal a man's Burks. Yeah, there's, one like positive, scum. there's one positive you can look at it, and there's not much light in this story, Coxie, I'm sad to say, but he's going to take months to wear those in. They're going to yeah. be uncomfortable. No, but the hopefully, thing is, hopefully your fat feet put so much like power those through gangly those, toes. those corks that he will never, ever be able to remold them. But do you know what annoyed me as well? Like You've just done all the hard work and then someone snatches it from you. Yeah. Are you kidding? And then what also annoyed me is where my Burks were, there was a really old shit pair where mine were. So he's traded them in. So he's like saw it and gone. Yeah. He's same it color. It was tactical. They were same color. Mine were obviously way better, like more cleaner as well, way fresher. Doubt that. Snagged him. No, you knew how good my you Burks were. You can tell were this was well. an inside job. This was definitely an inside job. But that's now you know. Yeah. My Burks got stolen off me and I didn't like know what was right and what was wrong for months. And it's going to take you a long time, Coxie, but... It's, yeah, it'll better. take... Never felt so lost in my to life. To get your trust back is going to be hard. Do you, do you reckon it could have been an inside job, though? Do you reckon I was studying me for weeks? All I'm saying is I reckon that this is the work of a professional. I reckon it was planned. Strategized. I'm actually going to start tearing up. And guess what? It was executed. <laughs> oh, it was executed very well. I reckon they were, like, banking on being so fucked up over bad money that I wouldn't have noticed and put theirs on. As soon as I looked at it, I was like, that's disgusting. You can't floor the execution, though. Yeah. And the worst thing is I put it in the footy chat going, whoever's got my Burks, please return them. And everyone just laugh reacted. It was my just comment. crickets, yeah. <laughs> that, yeah, but on footy, what broke me this week was we unfortunately lost the grand final. We lost by two points. Yeah, we missed a conversion on the siren to tie the game. So yeah. that was pretty brutal. But on the other hand, what like made me was like the group of lads we like all played with. Like mm. that was pretty legendary. The celebrations after like yeah. as much as it sucked, like celebrating a loss, it was, I, I reckon it was we fucking s- mad. We celebrated. Don't reckon, get that mistake. I reckon we have the best group of boys in our footy yeah. team. Like win, lose or draw. Like we've got the best 
people to be around. I reckon me. I would rather lose for our team than win for their you team. You sound like a fucking yeah. coach. Like, yeah, hundred like, percent. Dude, that was fucking inspirational. Thanks, guys. Yeah, put that put that on a fucking podcast. <laughs> eh? Put that on a shirt. <laughs> put that on a shirt. That yeah. shit on billboards. <laughs> Dude, all right, that's yeah. No, we'll, we'll get into more of like the Mad Monday, Silly Sunday antics a little bit later. Mm. Or should we get into them now? It's up to you. There's not. I don't really have too much to talk about. Yeah, it was all a, a bit lot. Of a just haze. can't be told. We'll touch on it. We will touch on it though. Yeah. So stay tuned. But yeah, a lot is fucking. A lot was done. A lot was said, and we're still alive. And if you're wondering where Dragon is, um, he actually. Got hit by a car. He perished due to he a lack of fit plane, food. Dude. He got hit by a plane while he's flying home. Chip is reversing a trailer and ran him over. <laughs> no, I don't believe that. I've seen him reverse a trailer. <laughs> Put it there. Yeah, but he done it on purpose. You know what the most <laughs> infuriating? <laughs> Chip just got denied <laughs> <and> knuckles. <laughs> he already saw it and he's not doing it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Dude, the most inferior I've ever felt is we were at like the boat ramp one time and I was reversing the jet ski in. Yeah. And I was like <laughs> cooking it because it was like when we first got it, cooking it and Chip's like, do you just want me to fucking reverse it, man? And the windows were down and everything. And this old dude's like looking at me. The old dude was like, yeah, let him I'll, do it. And like I was doing that bad. I jumped out of the seat and let him do it. And, and he, he nailed it first go. Any time I'm ever at a boat ramp, I, I hop out of the car first and go, anyway, I'll just guide you in. <laughs> Because <laughs> I know damn well I'm not hopping in that driver's seat and embarrassing myself. <laughs> I'm better at it now, though. Yeah, you are good now. Yeah. I'll give you that. I wouldn't be able to tell you. You never take me out on your jet ski. Whatever, dude. <laughs> Last time I went out, you ran me over. So, sweet. <laughs> Thanks for that. Take him anyway, out and finish right, the job. That's it. We'll move on from that. What a week. <laughs> and what an episode we got. Oh, yeah. No, what? That show of um, the plug, the porn stars. <laughs> The leader right? of the plug. Is it, yeah, bro. Did you hear what happened with that? Dude, that was yeah. fucked, Oi, bro. Can we actually touch on this? I've, I feel like it's actually bro, relevant. This is fucked. Okay, so you what? know Lena the plug, the- The one that star? they do the podcast with her husband, and then they wrote the- Oh, where the, the chick got railed, so and the guy was acting like he was cool with it? Essentially, yeah. For context, Adam22, which is Lena the plug's husband, they've always done porn together. Don't ask me how I know this, but it's sort of half common knowledge. Yeah, right? it's all over TikTok. And so one way he know. made a deal with the incentive of money, letting Lena the plug fuck his wife, bloke yeah, called um, Jason Love, who, a humongous black um, man, African-American man. Yeah. Like, and I'm talking humongous. Like huge. And, anyway, there was huge. a- uh, Fucking huge. <laughs> there was hung. There was a yeah. couple agreements before they actually like did the deed, and one of them was like, "Don't give him oral. Don't." I don't know how to say this without yeah. sounding okay. disgusting. Yeah. But anyway, it was like involving finishing yeah. somewhere. Yeah. And pretty much the video ended up happening, and he did everything. Yeah. Literally. Yeah. literally Everything. Thing Have like, you not heard like, about I, this? No, I did, I've heard all like the beef about it. I don't know. He did everything though. Everything. And it gets even worse. Like I wish I could fucking explain it to you, but yeah. um, everything they were not supposed to do, they, they ended up doing. And he has made an absolute dime out of it. But at what cost? You know at what? what cost? Obviously he doesn't really give that much of a shit, dude. Because now, you know how they used to only have chicks on their podcast? Yeah. Now he's like, yeah, we'll bring blokes on it. And now he's going to like double team his wife for some random bloke. But every every bloke that goes on that podcast is roast him for getting his for letting his yeah. wife get banged. It's all over TikTok. You'll know what we're talking about if you're what up to date. What a world they live shit. in, eh? What a cruel world. Yeah, I can't believe that. Like, mm. where's your self respect, sort of yeah. thing? But that's nah, why I never did game. porn. Are you sure that's why? You certainly have the tits for it. <laughs> <laughs> Zing! <laughs> but uh, this was meant to be the plug. But we ended up talking about Lena the plug. But we do appreciate. Lena the Plug's videos and all the, <laughs> <laughs> and all the support. Um, <laughs> yeah, the support's been off the Richter. We're at 1.1K, five stars now. Yes. TikTok's going good. The Instagram moving a little bit slow. Yeah. So yeah, that's yeah, what I'm like. Well, a lot of our videos keep getting taken down. Yeah, for community <laughs> guidelines. Violation yeah. or yeah, some shit. Yeah. Suggesting sexual aggressive shit or whatever, <laughs> yeah. whatever they said. But you can't fair. get far in this world we live in. You can't. You can't. But, the good thing is Spotify is moving nuts. So thanks for getting around it. Rate us yeah. more. It's awesome. Make sure you follow the podcast. That's a massive thing. Yeah. We want to get that on the roll on. We've had a massive like emphasis on the five yeah. stars for a long time. And then also follow the We Got a Song of the Week playlist on Spotify yeah. as well. Yeah. Yes. We've been, we've been heaps of people have been saying it's how good. 
Yeah, we may need to mention that for ages. So at the end of every episode, if you guys ever make it to there, <laughs> we do a song of the week. So we got a playlist. If you want to find it, it's just in our Instagram bio. If you click the link there, you'll find our song of the week playlist and then you can read through. Just below the OnlyFans link. Make sure yeah. you add it. Like, get around it. Below the feet link. Yeah. But um, we heckled you last episode about how the DMs have been quiet. We actually did receive a couple roasts. Yeah, I don't know if I've got them well. all, so I apologise if I've missed you out because I've sort of did it last minute. There were some oh, pearlers in there. Let the world come at me. Let Dude, the world come at me. Th- like, I don't know what to say, Chip. Th- this isn't a targeted attack by me. It's by the audience. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so. It's Megan's world and I love this shit. Do you want to hear the first one? I'd love to. And you, you, we'll give you the opportunity to like, Reply back as well Yeah okay. Our first but, one wait, but you got like a 10 second reply Yeah no, you got like a threshold a window. Um, Our first one by Ollie West Is Chip looks like he cries When he gets 9 nuggets Instead of 10 <laughs> Yeah no shit Dude whoever wouldn't Is a fucking retard You pay for 10 You get 10 <laughs> You can't say that word Chip Yeah sorry So Beep. take it back Nah He's an idiot He's <laughs> yeah, an good, idiot good dude boy, He seems boy. like someone that just has everything paid for him Probably by his girlfriend Or his mum Let's but be honest I'm with If you, you pay for chip. 10 You get 10 Yeah I'd be upset Alright Our next one is Shit name too I listened to you once And you sound like Every other Queenslander ever All you do is Play rugby And get on the piss <laughs> Oi And that's what makes it The greatest state In Australia <laughs> That's why we're The sunshine state brother oh. You can tell he's a blues supporter yeah, yeah, Definitely from Victoria you or one, That's buddy. from Declan Denny <laughs> so he's definitely got the education state on his number plate there. What <laughs> yeah. a loser. Shall. <laughs> Our next one is a fucking small paragraph. <laughs> it's a good is thing. This it? The podcast are only half an hour. Chip would get too tired otherwise, and I'm pretty sure he sits on the other side of the studio <laughs> because he generates so much gravity you'd get pulled towards him. It might be wise to do a wellness check on Courtney. Chip's girlfriend, she probably suffocates during missionary. <laughs> dude. This sounds like some cunt that's never had sex dude, with I, I saw that in the middle of the week and I fucking was crying reading that and I said it straight to I Jacko. was literally like half in tears. The gravity work. part's whole mixed up. It obviously no, this cunt the suffocation yeah. through missionary dude, killed me. Yeah, dude, he doesn't know his physics one fucking bit. That gravity my, shit's way off. My favourite line was he probably gets tired. Bro, this cunt... <laughs> I bet you if you looked at this cunt's profile, he's probably fucking 190 kilos and fucking five foot two. Wait, show him his profile pic. Um, I'll pull it up this real will, quick. This will, this will let him defend this himself. This will ignite something. It's hard. I've got... Oh my God. Yeah, look at the profile pic. Chip, there you go. There's some ammo. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm not sure if he rides horse or gets fucked by the horse, but it doesn't fucking matter. What a loser. Boy, I'll never cop anything from someone that's coming at me knowing his profile picks him riding a fucking horse. <laughs> <laughs> no. Wait, we don't live in the fucking 14th century cunt. Get no. a car. Wait, it's kind of gangster. He's coming into the war. The 14th century. He gets run by his horse, dude. He's not gangster at all. Kind of, nah, it's kind of gangster. He's riding a horse into our DMs and just absolutely yeah. throwing you around. Oh, yeah, he's throwing me I, I like the roast. I reckon yeah, they're that good. Would I, I would have liked it knowing it's from some cunt that doesn't ride a fucking horse. <laughs> then it would have made it like, oh, I tell you what, it would have held a hell lot more fucking like, weight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mate. It would have held a bit more fucking like... Just proper, like, proper of the shit if he wasn't right <laughs> oh, yeah. I was trying to find a word for, like, it 10 was, seconds there and nah, couldn't find wait, it. I reckon you've nailed it. Yeah, sweet. You've nailed it there. Sweet. It'll yeah, but a lot more proper of the shit. Yeah. I, pr- I and promise if you're gonna, you. If put you're that gonna, on a t-shirt. If you're going to send in um, messages coming at us, don't ride a fucking horse, dude. It's lame as fuck. I reckon it's fire. Oh, and, Chip, I promise you I didn't cherry pick them. That was, like... <laughs> <laughs> I, Wait, I didn't. The, the, I didn't. the horse looked like it had fucking training wheels Did on. Did you it. see a couple of people roasted us, but they'd obviously made like a burner account? Yeah. Like they had zero followers, zero followings, just to message us a roast. Yeah. <laughs> We're getting Fel- up there, man. Fellow horse riders. When you make zero dollars a podcast, you, you're bound to get a couple haters, eh? Yeah. yeah. 100%. And I'll tell you what, fuck them. But send fuck some more and we'll make this. A weekly thing Yeah If we get enough And they've got to be good Like yeah. they can't be shit Like it can't be like Use now a keep, degenerate Keep the roast coming Roast everyone there And cracker. like even if you want to Like write a short story roast Like yeah. that was the best one Like a fan fiction yeah. roast And if you're going to ride Some animal Don't be a fucking horse Make it be a bull or something <laughs> oh, Don't ride a horse Let's <laughs> not get started oh, on a bull <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, no. wait I got offered at footy After after the um 
after the year's lost the grand final. Sorry oh, cheers. What the fuck? But um, we were, we were hanging out in the footy, in the clubhouse and there were a couple of people there that listen. And he was like to me, hey, mate, I've organised a bull rodeo or whatever. you got to come. It's in November. And I was like, sweet, dude, I'll see you there. It's I the same. am not showing it's up. It's the same bloke that I was talking about going. that I was organising. Oh, really? We're yeah. going. We're yeah. going. I've organised it, mate. It's happening. And we're going to dress you up in cowboy Jeans and, and after, and and after, after fucking the after the bulls done stomping on you, I'm gonna jump in the rain and stomp the shit out of you. If we if we get 10k on Instagram, I'll do it. I'll ride a bull. All right, All right make that happen. Seriously, 10k on Instagram and Coxie will ride a bull. I'll ride a bull. Or a potty. I'll give it, it a go. It can be wait, like a little I'm, potty. If, wait, and if I last eight seconds, what do I get? Thousand medal. bucks. <laughs> give me give me something. Wait, if, you last, if you last eight seconds, I'll give you two grand and I'll give you a handshake. But if you, Dude, I'll say the hands if you don't last, <laughs> if you don't last eight seconds, what do we get? Should we do a money bet on this? You get to laugh at me forever because I always said that I could do it. No, I, I'm gonna go dollar. something more realistic. If you last more than eight seconds on a potty ball, and you can't got, last eight seconds in the, fucking bed, let alone this, on a ball. <laughs> this ball, this ball's got to have a little bit of a go about it. Like it can't just be Wait, like, let it be known, this ball's got a lot of go about it. <laughs> yeah, it's got to be something that's like a pure bed thoroughbred. Who hasn't like busted a nut in fucking a thou? I can't ride chip. <laughs> <laughs> You've tried, dude. It's slender. You literally can't. <laughs> All right, keep sending the roast in. Follow the podcast. Rate it five stars. Instagram Mayfield underscore Co. Get on the TikTok as well. Defend us from all the po- all the comments we're receiving, <laughs> please. Yeah. <Yay. laughs> Instagram followers. What a pig! Do you want to plug your Instagram while you're at it, buddy? <laughs> Seriously. Do you know what just happened then? I will give a bit of context. So Chip was like really down in the dumps about his confidence. Hey, Jacko. Um, and then he just goes like, what Yeah, you, this what, is what, what happened. He's you like, can't bullshit he's like, this. He's like, oh, Coxie, I just looked at your Instagram and you just cracked like heaps of followers. Like, it's like why, why don't chicks follow me? Well, and you know what Coxie said? He's like, it's hard work being an influencer all the time. <laughs> and he goes, 1,700 of the best faithful, loyal, active followers. Oi. Coxie's Dude. followers are a bunch of like numbers and no profile pictures. <laughs> I think they're all like Arabs. No, I'm not, I don't have to imagine. Arabs? I don't what have, are they? Arabs? Oh, oh my. Same I don't shit. have to imagine. I'm fucking looking at them, dude. This is embarrassing. Do you want to confess if, something? If I was to ever buy followers and I still had under 2,000 followers on Instagram, that's so embarrassing. Oh, I know someone on the coast who bought followers. Really? I'm not going to name them. Well, I, 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 I know of them. Yeah, Jordan Cox. Does <laughs> yeah, he call himself me? Coxie? No, but. I can't believe, but there's no point buying followers because they don't like your photos, do they? No, they're not. Well, what's the, the, it's the like, fucking... You know. You it's know. a number. <laughs> I, I suppose, like, that's all that brands really look for as soon as they go on an account, like whether you're verified should we? and have... Should, should we? Should we buy followers? Well, we know you have. Is it good? Yeah. No, no. <laughs> where, what Jack and I'm asking is, how can we? <laughs> <laughs> Like, can you can you give us that Instagram followers for dummies book that you have? Because <laughs> we need to read it. I'd have to really dub it down for you to be able to read it, Chip. Dude, you can't read a page. It'd have to be a picture menu. book. It'd have to be a picture book. <laughs> a pop up book as well. Cox, you can't read Wait. the fucking coffee clubs menu, bro. Let alone a fucking book. Fair. Yeah, make fun of my disease. Yeah, I just did. No, nah, that one's cured. <laughs> that oh, one's he's been, got that one. That that one's been cured since Tuesday. Yeah. I'm not, Put that in. It'll be too obvious after you said the stuff. <laughs> oh. I don't want people connected I'm sorry. I'm all. sorry. No, that's all right. Anyway, Chip's a dummy. <laughs> dude, dude, he got you there, eh? Oh, yeah. No, he got me. No, dude, don't call him that because we're about to talk about something very serious. Yeah, we are. Now, something happened this Yesterday. Day of this week. Yesterday. <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> yesterday, tomorrow's day. On um, the 14th of September. By the time you guys listen to this, it'll be about a week ago. About a week ago. <laughs> no <laughs> way. Oh, my God. No way. You knew him. Yeah, baby. <laughs> what? He thought we'd get around that too. We're like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everyone start dancing. That was shit. sick, man. <laughs> no, but um, a very important day. Are you okay day just happened. Yeah. And last episode, we opened up a little bit personally about our direction of what we want to go in and how many like re- good replies did we actually get from it? I was not yeah, expecting it was that awesome. yeah, it was the feedback like, yeah. was really good yeah so we're gonna each episode we're gonna do like a mix of funny obviously where we try to be funny and then something a little bit serious as well and what better topic to talk about than are you okay yeah 
Yeah, literally. But we try to make this a bit entertaining for those who aren't into it as well. Yeah, because everyone obviously faces challenges in their life, yeah. just on different scales. And yeah, like the emphasis of this day is literally tapping your mate on the shoulder yeah, without like, like without like, because there is a stigma about asking someone if they're okay without taking the piss, whether yeah. you like it or not. But yeah, at least yeah. this day acknowledges that. Yeah, like no matter like how big or small it might be, just asking your mate like if they are really okay. Yeah. Like is what matters It might even That might be enough Like you asking okay They're like oh someone like Really cares about you Like how I'm feeling Yeah Like, And they might just They might still not open up But that could be enough For them to just go yeah Yeah Even if you ask it Like 20 times Maybe one time They might actually say They're not okay And then you can talk about it Yes Are we gonna go deep on this Should we I'll, I'll tell you what Before we go deep though Are you okay Day being on a Thursday I could have needed that On Monday <laughs> eh? yeah. I could have I could have needed that On I Monday said. <laughs> I need the Tuesday before, like before we actually get deep. Um, there's all these posters in the the urinal where I'm working at the moment, and one of them's a bloke sitting down with his mate having a conversation. <laughs> it's an "Are you okay?" one, and there's a speech bubble coming out saying, "How's things, mate? Is everything traveling?" All good. And someone's gotten in there with a Milwaukee Nico and put a speech bubble on the other bloke, going, "Harden the fuck up, you soft cunt." <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> like I know that's funny But that's exactly the stigma yeah. This whole day is trying to break Like yeah. It is okay to be vulnerable It's okay to speak to someone And we've all had times in our life Where yeah, like We've Like I've, I've cried to you boys before Yeah 100% Yeah I've cried to you a hundred times Chip have you? Chip's cried I to me I think I cried to Coxie once Chip's cried yeah, to me Yeah I, I don't think I've seen you shed a tear I think Coxie Yeah Coxie did Yeah Once well, Chip crying, dude, Chip crying to me was like actually one of the hardest things I've seen. Yeah. Like, he pretty much created the Maruchador River. Yeah. He cried. 100%. No, if you've no, ever no, heard no, that it, Dreamtime story, that, <laughs> yes, was, that, was, dream chip. Time. <laughs> that was Chip. That was Chip. Pains in the cave. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah. Fuck, that rattled me, eh? Just even thinking about that when you cried to me, Chip. But yeah, it was fun. It wasn't even about you, it was about me as yeah, well. Yeah, that was like probably the hardest news I've ever been given, ever. Yeah. But um, you probably don't really know what we're talking about here. No, so. they don't have any idea. We're not no, going to go too deep into it. But like, has there been times where someone's asked you if you're okay and you've uh, it's um, helped you? Like, should we go into that? Yeah, yeah, I think there's one that stands out in particular because I feel like, especially men, on, and I'm not singling out anyone or what's the word? Are you fucking? I'm not too sure. <laughs> What's the Categorize word? Categorise. That's it. That's How it. How fuck did you um, get that out of that? I know. Categorise any gender in specific, specifically, but I know that for me that it takes a lot for it to all boil over. Like I bottle up a lot of shit and then it all comes out yeah. in one explosion. And that's yeah. half the problem because when you do bottle up and it comes out and like, not the wrong way, but like a bigger way that could yeah. be avoided from the start. And the whole time yeah. you're... Bottling it up, you're agitated because yeah. you're on edge. And one time that stands out in particular for me. I'm not going to explain what it's about, but oh, should I? No, I just do it. You, if you're going, yeah, you can talk about that. Yeah. So obviously, I had um, an ex girlfriend for a while, and I was like just doing the thing. I was just getting blind every weekend, <laughs> like, and like I'm every weekend. As I, well. I am not sad about this. Like it's probably one of the best things that ever happened. With, to me, like, no disrespect. Like, I growed so much as yeah, a person. Yeah. And um, I was getting so fucked up, man, to the point, like, where I couldn't speak. And it was sort of all just building up. And we were out one night. And anyway, I'm in the club. And next minute, you know, that realisation that hits you. Yeah. And you're like, what am I doing Bro, with my life? Bro, how yeah. fucked is that? Yeah. I got that. While I was at, at a club, man, and I walked down and had tears in my eye, and I walked past one of your good mates, and he was like, "Are you all good, man?" And I was like, "I'm all sweet, eh?" Walked, and this is the time when we're having all the floods as well, so yeah, this pissing was down. I tell you what, I tell you what, <laughs> the scene was set for me to have a literally, fucking cry. This was like out of, shit, a out of a movie, literally out of a movie. So yeah. anyway, I'm blind as all fuck, walking, trying to find my way home, and I end up making it in front of Ray White, a real estate. <laughs> business <laughs> and i'm sitting there like looking at the canal that runs through where we club mm. and i've tried calling my ex's mum her like 20 times right. right her dad i think i tried her dad a couple times oh. nobody picked up and like i have no shame in it now yeah. but yeah, like it is pretty man. embarrassing to yeah. speak about um and i was calling them and i was Balling my eyes out Because at the time That's all that matters to you Because you don't know yeah. Anything else The one yeah. thing that you fucked Like yeah. you just want to get it back Yeah 
And no joke, man, balling my eyes out. I was chunning on myself. I was in the yeah. absolute wars. Fuck. Out of nowhere, I saw like a silhouette, a very large one. <laughs> <laughs> and if you get in the gist, the bro walks over, the bro chip walks over with the cape and like I was trying to dry my tears up and say I was all good and he just sat down and spoke to me and he was like, man, you need to speak to me because like it's getting too much. He was like, it's affecting you like mentally. Yeah. And that was like when I opened up to him, I explained him a lot. And to be honest, he saved me a lot of time and like genuinely made me feel better. Like just having that vent, that person to speak to, it like helped me so much. Like I wish I could put it into words, but you don't know until you've spoken to someone that getting shit off your chest yeah. is like the biggest thing. It's yeah. just like the biggest release ever. Like you think like it's just so cliche. Like you, it's literally you got all that weight in your shoulders. Yeah. And just like put it onto someone else and like hear what they have to say because they're never going to say something bad about it. Yeah. And they're like just getting that weight off your shoulders. You literally wait, like you walk lighter after. And that sort of like after we had that chat, it sort of enabled me to talk to my parents a little bit easier knowing that I'd gotten like all the soppy shit out of the road. Like, and I spoke to my mum. She was constantly asking me if I was okay, believe it or not. Yeah. <laughs> and she, I finally broke it all down to her and she gave me some perspective on what to do. And I, I can say I've been a better person for that experience. Yeah, 100%. And like without my mates, like I wouldn't, like it would have been hard to get past it as quick as I did. Mm. Yeah. Guys, you, I you asked him if he was okay after that, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Coxie <laughs> asked me if I was okay and I said no. And he said, all right, bro, just, just checking check up. <laughs> <laughs> no, no that, I remember that night like so clearly, yeah. like, Picture like picture perfect. I remember like walking over. I was trying to find you fucking from everywhere, and I saw you. And it was like the even that for me was like the biggest release. It was like it was meant to happen as well. Like I dead ass my phone was was dead from all the calls I tried to make. I did did confiscate his phone off, and he found me. He found me like in the most rogue place ever. Like that shit. Like that's not an obvious place. That shit was meant to happen, man. And. Like, I've, I've had times with you as well, Coxie, where, like, I've just told you what's on my mind and I feel so much better for it. But it it's, like, almost better than... Like, talking to someone and getting it off your chest is, like... It almost heals you. Yeah. Yeah, I hope Like, so. any time I've ever spoken to you is, and, like you said before, like, everything just builds up. Like, could have just been one little thing and then you just bottle it up for ages. Yeah. Could have just been like one thing, and then all of a sudden it's a whole truckload, like a semi trailer. Yeah, like it hits you all, all at this once. Shit. It's good, but everything's then, coming out, and you just keep getting rid of shit yeah. that you don't need to hang on to. And then you finally let it out, and then you almost just have this whole new perspective on yeah everything, like just getting everything off your chest. Just it honestly just hit. Every time I ever do it, I feel so much better after doing it. And it's yeah. just it sounds cliche as well, but um, while I was going through all this, like it was affecting my work life yeah. and my home life. Like I remember I just started my apprenticeship and I was trying my best to make the best impression. And I literally had said to the boys, I was like, so like if I'm on my phone a fair bit, I'm going through a bit of shit at the moment. Mm. And like, that's how much it was built up inside yeah. of me. Yeah. Like it takes over your life, but yeah, but does, that's something it, that I've never been good at. Like, I've never been the type of person to talk about it. I don't think I, I might've like talked to you yeah. about something like once maybe. I reckon, yeah, probably only probably like not. maybe. Probably one. honestly, probably not. No, you've spoken to us once, Chip. Like one time, I'll bring up was when me and Jacko would ask you heaps of times, "Are you okay?" Like we can tell you're not okay, and then it wasn't until me and Jacko came together and we were just like, "It was bef- was it before or we after tagged we filmed him?" The, yeah, I was. I think it was <laughs> after we filmed the podcast where we literally made Chip just sit on the couch. And we just like interrogated him, and we're just yeah. like, we're like, whether you like it or not, you're getting it out of you. Yeah, and but then that's you what ended like, up getting it all out of you. And yeah, that was, that's what I don't remember what it was about. Though. But it's it's always the hardest. The hardest thing is actually starting to say, it. and as soon as you let one bit out, it's the easiest thing. Yeah. You feel yeah. so much lighter. Well, I don't. If you're out there and you think like it's just too hard, like, and you think like you might be the only one feeling that feeling, you're not. Like I, I literally struggle to this day. Like. And I don't speak about like, how I feel at all like, yeah. to anyone. I just like deal with it myself. And it's probably like, I don't know, I've been able to do it, like not effectively, but I've been able to do it for my life. But like I, if I could choose to do it another way, like I would. Yeah. And yeah. don't think like you're the only one out there that might not be able to like get it, get the words out and speak to someone because you're not like, like, there'd be millions of people. Yeah, you'd be shocked how many people are willing to sit there and yeah. give you the opportunity to speak about yeah. And there's also websites and online services as yeah. like cringe as that sounds. 
Like, there's no harm in reaching out. No, yeah. I at all. Like, to, especially like... <laughs> and it's all about starting a conversation at the end of the day. And, like, on the Are You OK one, like, oh, they've got a really good service that I know you can go onto the website and find it that easy to talk to someone. Yeah. Like, it's free, no one charges that, and they're just there to talk. I'm pretty sure it's 24-7, eh? Yeah. Yeah. It would be. What nah. about you, Coxie? Is there any moments in your life where you haven't been OK and you've started a conversation or someone has with you? Yeah. And it... Definitely, like a lot of times with you boys, but I, I personally, like, I'm so lucky. Like I've got the best network around me. Like I've got, yeah, well, I reckon I've got the best mates in the world, the best family in the world, where like they constantly always check up on me. But I reckon my, the worst thing about myself is I don't open up the first, like the first like ten times they might ask me. Yeah. But the, f- I'll continuously always just deny and be like, no, nah, I'm sweet. I don't, I don't know why. Like, it's something I know I need to work on. But then it's also something I know that when I finally actually opened up, it's made, like, such a difference as well. Do you mm. know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, no, I, but it's like, all, that's always the hardest bit. Yeah. Like, cause what, like you said before, once you say those first words, it all comes coming. Yeah. It like, comes out. But yeah. it's just that first bit is so hard. But, like, because you know, you know your mates are there for you and they're not good. They're always going to be the person to help you. And the best thing for you to do is to tell them. But it's still just that bit that like you're hanging on to, like, yeah. I can't let go of it. I can't let go of it. I feel like it. every time I've done it, because I, I love my family, but I find it always more comfortable when I talk to my mates as well. Because I yeah. also find they can understand a little bit more. Because they're your age. Yeah, they're our age. But like, and they're going through the same the, shit that you're going through. The times when I've spoken to you the most that's really stood out was like that time, Chip, where it was me and you just down the bottom of Jacko's house. And I had yeah. that big chat to you. Like I was bottling up for ages, man. You could just see me. I did not want to let it out. Yeah, that, dude, and that's then, another state. Like, like, I think it took me ages to get out of you. Yeah, it like, did. It would have been like, probably like an hour maybe. Yeah, honestly, like ages. And it was like, even though like, as fucked as it is, like we had had a big night as well, but it just was the, what it took to get it out of me. And then the yeah. same again happened. Like it took me ages to talk to Jacko about it. Like how long did I probably talk to you about it? Like a month or two I, later? I was like, judging yeah. the fuck out of you though. <laughs> 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 no, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> yeah. No, it took, me, it took me like, I reckon like two months to even tell you. And you're literally like my best mate in the world. Both yeah, of you yeah. are obviously. Jacko oh, yeah, a little bit higher than shit. <laughs> <laughs> what a shit cut I'm never going to see you again <laughs> Next time you're going to be getting laughs from me When you come at me with something heavy eh? No but yeah I don't know But I'm I'm so grateful for myself and for you That I actually finally got it off my chest But Same here yeah, I feel like the biggest yeah. the biggest thing Is if someone asks you if you're okay It's alright if you say no the first time But there's got to be a point where you're going to have to be vulnerable And actually open up Because at the end of the day even even like my best mate, I know they're going to be there for me, but some days I still have my doubts. Like you get yeah. in your head, you're going, yeah. oh, they're going to judge me. But no one's ever going to judge you for opening up. Yeah, 100%. Like, and if someone ever judges you for opening up, so, they are scum of the earth. Like you do oh, not need to be around that person. If so, no, un- unless it's during like one of your favourite bands. <laughs> Playing yeah. your unless favourite you, song no, Unless you're like Movie world well, Waiting for the <laughs> yeah. Scooby Doo ride Or something Then, yeah. like, then it could wait If they drop something They just say Wait after the ride buddy Nah I'm just joking <laughs> But seriously We thought we'd touch on Do you, Sorry Do you guys have anything More to add to that Not really I don't know There's there's a lot to say But there's a lot I can't really say Yeah Because yeah. it's hard yeah. yeah We'll talk uh, about it one day But I think the message Is just like Reach out to your mates, and if you can tell something's going on, like what we did to Chip, literally just force them to sit down and get it out of them. Start a conversation. Yeah. Yeah, but don't, like, start, like, hitting them like they did to me. Yeah, we put a <laughs> gag ball on him and choked yeah. him. And shit. then he started getting a boner, and we were like, what the <laughs> yeah, fuck? That was, we were like, that <laughs> was hot as fuck. What a way <laughs> to end such a deep topic, that eh? good. We've always got to put a little twist on it, eh? Yeah, maybe hold out for as long as you can, so then you do get gagged. <laughs> <laughs> nah, don't do that. Start the conversation, yeah. reach out to any helpline. Yeah. We'll link it in the description of this yeah. episode if Should you need we, it. I, I've wanted to do this for a while. I really want to raise money for, is it Movember? Like Men's Mental Health Month? Because that's November. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. Surely we do something for it. Get everyone to donate. Obviously not to us, but to a charity or something. Like, no, you can donate to us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll see how much money like us as all Mayfield listeners and everything can that's raise. That's a really good idea. Yeah. I reckon that'd be pretty cool if we set it up and put oh, we'll, we'll it raise in our Instagram bio. Yeah, we'll raise a couple there. Yeah. But let yeah. us know if you enjoyed that because we do feel like it's important and we have somewhat of a platform yeah. to 
encourage people to reach out. So, yeah. Anything yeah. else, boys? Yeah. Uh, reach out to your mates and they reach out to you. Yeah. Oh, also, I actually just. Oh, fuck oh here no, we I've go. Got fuck you. <laughs> <yeah>. oh. <laughs> fuck. No, but um, we put on our story. Um, we put on our story saying, like, what's the best way to reach out to your mate and ask if they're okay? So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read out a couple you of don't. these. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> when, you're, when you're in a toxic cod Wait. lobby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, reach Wait. out in a cod lobby, man. In an <laughs> S&D lobby. It's, um, how, do I, how do I get our archive? There Press archive, bro. Oh. So yeah, we reached out saying, like, what's the best way to reach out to your mates, like, on Are You OK Day or whatever? And this read the fucked ones as well. Yeah, I'm going to read them all, like, no particular order. But the first one's just the basic, are you OK? <laughs> Cheers for that. Fair enough. See, that was really thought of. And then the next one is, this is a good way of asking. It's, <laughs> are you fucking or are you fucked? <laughs> <laughs> right. Dude, that is actually gross. I like yeah. that. And then this one, are you, you're right, cunt. <laughs> <laughs> like the most Aussie way. Our audience ever. is fire. Yeah. <laughs> and then it's... um. This one, this one's all right. This is from your horse rider bloke, Chip, your enemy. Oh, this will be nothing good. No, it's not. No, he goes, bro, you're all good. You said so much stupid shit last night, <laughs> which is like a good yeah. thing. Like you have a night on the piss. If you ever notice your mate having a night on the piss and he says some questionable things, probably chase him up the next yeah. day. Yeah, hundred percent. Ask about it. But um, yeah. Was this thing that cunt said? People are just saying like, "Are you okay, bro? I'm here to listen." Um, what about this one from Will? Chin up your Chin up chip You ferret looking Fuck <laughs> You ter- Wait Chin up chip You ferret face looking cunt He's bloody <laughs> Dude, This is from like Fucking William Don't McKenzie This is from like Will- Bro said that I'm like Are you okay day Yeah he'll go to fucking hell and He's probably got zero mates That cunt <laughs> so Our listeners are grass And then it's Except um, for Will He's a virgin Oh my god Um. Okay <laughs> And what about this one Bruv so how you been Are you alright And then to Finish it off from Grace. She goes, "You all right, hun?" Then slip in a cheeky slip. Oh fuck! I fucked it oh, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She Say goes, "You all right, hun?" Then slip in a cheeky finger. <laughs> oh, bro, dude, that's what fire. a note to end on, eh? <laughs> that's my favorite option. So thanks, thanks for we put something serious in our stories, and that's the sort of response we're getting. Yeah, we got seventy percent <laughs> fucked up shit, thirty percent good, and then oh, that's a hundred percent. <laughs> yeah, don't yeah. get it twisted though. We love it. <laughs> nah, all right. That's that's probably enough. Yeah. yeah. Let us know if you enjoyed that. Reach out to someone. Ready? Now we promised. We did promise that we'd tell you some tales from Mad Monday. Yes. We don't have that many because it's all a little bit of a haze, isn't it? There's a oh, lot a we can't word. talk about this year, which is kind of annoying. Like, and we were sort of secluded at someone's house the whole time, which yeah. was which was fire. Which was fine. It was so fine. It was fire. But so pretty much after we played the grand final, we went back to the clubhouse and geez, tell you what, didn't feel like we lost, did it? No, no it didn't. didn't. It felt like we fucking conquered Rome. Well, when you got a good group of people around you, it's always going to be a little bit of fun, isn't we it? Win, loss or draw, mate. Yeah. Fucking, uh, uh, fucking yes. goes on. Yes, 100%. Yeah. But um, what happened this year? Should we talk about just our costumes? Yeah, we'll you, start with them. Well, Jacko, you never wore your costume, yeah, did you? Yeah, because I was asleep the whole of Sunday, <laughs> but- <laughs> That's well, all right. That's all right. It's not but, um, all right. It's me, not and, right. me and Chip, so last year we went as, I went as a nun. And I was in a banana. And then you are in the banana. And then this year me and Chip went to Spotlight to find some costumes and there was honestly nothing there. Like I found some big ass sumo wrestler. Yeah. But the inflation part wasn't with it. Someone's nicked it. Oh, yeah. So I couldn't tough. get it. So yeah. we had to both go as nuns yeah. this year. Yeah. <laughs> there was nuns running around the coast. Yeah. See, I way. bought a hippie costume, but it never came out. Like, I had big flares and all that. Yeah. Like, see, that would have been cool to see, but it, well, it would have been cool to see you. I put my money. I put my money. Dude, out, I was there. Let, let's, let's go to Sad Day, man. Yeah. I was there Sad Day, and everybody was on a rip. And I want to yeah. let it be known, I was there till 8 o'clock until I had to send out an SOS call. Eight o'clock in the morning, by the way. Eight o'clock in the morning. He lasted the whole night. You did last the whole night, I which did, honestly man. you haven't done for a while. Yeah. So well done. You can And I it. loved every bit of it. Yeah. So did anything happen your Saturday night? All I remember is <laughs> in the morning of Sunday, I was like, All right, mate, go grab your two best mates. I've got a delivery coming. And I brought in these bunch of goodies that um, my sister had dropped off. 
pulled them out. It was like flaming hot Cheetos, popcorn, like everything you God's needed. God's like, we were fucking All our favourite snacks. Man. All our favourite snacks. Our lock from our team grabbed the popcorn, grabbed the Cheetos, picked them up, said, we're not fucking eating. <laughs> Threw them on the ground and did like a bunny hop onto them in his own room, mind you. <laughs> yeah. And they exploded everywhere. And I'm like in a daze at this point. I'm so rattled. And I look up at the ceiling and there's no lights in the ceiling. All the down lights have been taken <laughs> out from the bloke who lives in that room. And he was like, I'm just going to plaster over them. I don't need lights anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and, that, and that seriously is when I knew I needed to get the fuck out of there. I was like, can't be a part of this anymore. Well, Saturday night was kind of like two, two little nights for me because I had to get taken home by your mum. Yeah, you <laughs> were in an absolute state. Yeah, your mum came and picked me up. <laughs> Those Larrys from your mates absolutely kicked you a sixer. <laughs> yeah. That was, but it was good. Funny. It was good fun. And then, um, can we talk else? on that more? Actually, so yeah, we were coming, <laughs> we were coming downstairs, and anyway, Coxie waltz, walks over to us and goes, "Man, I'm pretty fucked up." Eh? <laughs> Next minute, he starts getting like the shivers, like the bro is shaking. Like he must have had like vodka Red Bulls or something at <laughs> yeah, the fucking probably grand about final 6, day. Thousand of them, yeah. And Condensed his heart was going skits, and he was like, "Man, what's your mum doing? Can she come get us?" I'm, I didn't know. I didn't ask for your mum. I remember I was like. Oh, like, we couldn't get yeah. an Uber, and I was yeah. like, "Send out the SOS yeah. to my mum." The like, old faithful Nikki, I love Nikki. So Where'd we end up I coming back? Nikki. to? We went to Chips House. Yeah, we went, yeah. To Mine. we went to Chips, and then all of a sudden, after about an hour of me just in the wars, I came good again, and then we just went back out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. which is sweet. Sometimes you need a little recharge, right? Hundred yeah. percent. What else happened? Oh, one of the what? There was like this pond there with heaps of goldfishes in it. <laughs> yeah. One of the boys grabbed a goldfish out of it and chucked it over the fence to the neighbours. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. What were you, what? I find it so weird that people have ponds in their yards. Should we set the scene? So this like yard was like your typical it was outdoor a court area. Yard. And then it wrapped around the back, like sort of half behind a shed mm. into another little backyard with those like OG washing lines you know yeah. the ones that spin in the yeah. wind and shit yeah. and they had like a little pond on the side and i remember i came home at eight o'clock like i said and i was in bed and i woke up and i opened a snapchat and it's it's a video of someone nude in the pond on a surfboard <laughs> yeah. and i saw it at that point i was like do i go back do i get back on the horse saw that and was like maybe not a eh? it's starting to get foul and at one point Nudity was at its max. It was like real quiet in the room. Like I think someone's shit was on tunes. And next shit. minute, one yeah, of the if blokes- I was on tunes, we would have gone to fucking Ibiza. One of the blokes <laughs> on the team pulls out a whip and says, who's got me boys? Next minute, someone's getting fucking whipped in the <laughs> kitchen. And I was like, are you fucking serious? I remember going back the next day on Sunday, walking back into the house. We'd watch Sunrise and whatever. Walk back in- and then there's a bloke covering the whole kitchen bench in lube. And then everyone's just jumping and skidding like penguins across the kitchen bench. And then the skateboard comes oh, out. Oh, bro. Oh, I and saw that. Skate, sca- trying to jump each other off the kitchen bench. That was crack up. I wish we could release the videos, but... Mm. We can't. They were like trying to board slide on the kitchen bench where they literally eat food. And I swear <laughs> it was led... The charge was led by the blokes who live in that actual yeah, house. Yeah, which is grouse from... Yeah, I would yeah, never so I would never host anything Bro, for a footy party. I just want to talk house. about like a bit of a shout out to Miles, the magician. Bruh, what the yeah, fuck? There was, a, there was a guy in our footy team and the whole night he was walking around with a pack of cards. <laughs> no and way. Yeah, yeah, yeah doing be, people for yeah, six. And he'd be, he'd, be like, he'd be like, if I guess your card, you got to skull that beer. Every single time he'd guess, he'd pick a random card. He'd be like, there's your card. And you'd have to scull your whole beer. Get every single That person. is so hard. Bro, I didn't realise it was Milesy till like literally Sunday Arvo. Oh, really? When he took the bucket <laughs> off, I was like, holy fuck, there's no way it's been him doing it to me. <laughs> he got me on one, bro. And it got to a point where he's like, is this a card? I was like, no. Nah. I was like, no, I've got him. I've got him. And he goes, oh, all right. And then he spells something out, the last card. He goes, that's yours. I was like, oh my fucking yeah. How God. fucked the magic yeah. tricks like when you're when exceptionally you're out of yeah. it? Yeah. Like, well, I remember being in my magic trick phase in about year six, but having it now when you're a 20 year old. You still rock a top hat. For sure. <laughs> for and a sure. Wand. Yeah. And a wand. The, pulls bunnies out of it and shit. <laughs> and then, sort of, I think I came back Sunday Eve, 
Would you say that's fair? Yeah, Sunday Eve. Yeah. And we just went to our local, the Bluff Bar. Yeah. And I tell you what, I don't know what goes on there on a Sunday that's so different to a sad day, but sad day is like our age demographic. Yeah, it's Sunday like, is like a different beast. It's Saturdays, it would be like 18 year olds to max 26 yeah. around there. Yeah, I'll give 27. And there's, and there's about 100 or 200 people there every time. Yeah. yeah. You go there on a Sunday, it's no one below 40. Yeah, and it is fire. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's sort of <laughs> right. And when me and Chip are in there in nun costumes, we're getting like sexually assaulted. The yeah. whole Do you want to tell your story? Yeah. The, well, your story of survival. I, I knew I was in trouble when the we were at the bar story. and then I'm getting groped from behind and going, oh, sister, sister. And I turn around, it's like a 50-year-old man. I'm going, <laughs> get off me. That's enough. That's like, fucked. And you're just going to laugh it off because you're obviously a stupid dickhead in a nun, nun costume. costume. Yeah. And then like that just kept happening. Like everyone just kept touching her. And then at the we were at the back, and then these old ladies came up to us, like wanting to get yeah, photos hilarious. and stuff. Hey, right. you? Can and I she, tell this? Yeah, you can tell it if you right, want. Right. So these two old people were getting a photo with Coxie. They, wait, that, how old? Like, like 60, 70? Like old enough to be your fucking grandmother. Yeah. Like almost oh, easy. Ash. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> almost in yeah. the fucking grave. And <laughs> so they're grabbing the picture and I'm Still like- Still horny though. <laughs> so they're taking the picture. Yeah, they wanted a picture with me. One around like each both shoulder. Both of them under my arm, like sort of like that. And I go, I go, oi, he's not frizzy. Get a bit handsy with him. Get a bit handsy. She slowly drops her hand down to his eyes. I was like, no, nah, no, nah, more than that. Like, he loves it. He loves it. He's into it. Just grab him, grab him. Bang. Peaches cocks his ass. Gets the biggest fern on him. Yeah, and I was like, I was like, oh, there goes my ass. And then- Balls, meat and veggies, juggling my balls. I was like, "All right, all right, let's." You get the photo. That's sick. Like, <laughs> and then she comes back, put like legs over me. I was like, "Dude, someone's grandma is yeah. all over me at Bluff Bar right now." Oh, like, wait, it was like, and gross. she she walked away, and Coxie's like, "No, come back, come back, <laughs> dude." It's like, so almost- anyway, I followed her home. <laughs> It's all like, <laughs> um, you didn't have to tell them that part, so man. No, it's almost like Predator esque in there. Like, I, I went and got a drink with you, and like, we were only two young blokes at the bar. And next minute, like, fucking the older ladies are flooding in, like, looking oh. for some young blood Dude. or some shit. Look, they, wait, looking they, to get wait, their sins wait, forgiven. They've had the old bulls. And yeah, now they yeah. want the young cars. Yeah. Yeah. They, <laughs> they just wanted to commit sins and then let them be forgiven. That's yeah, what they it wanted. Was, Dude, those old people were on a different level. They were very, they were in heat. Had a feeling. Full and credit then, to them though, giving it a crack. Yeah, hundred percent. And then it, I don't know. Me and Chip just started realizing everything we could get away with, right? Like right. We, we got away. People with would start murder. heckling. We just like do a little prayer pose to them and just <laughs> keep walking. I prayed and everyone, and everyone's like, like took that down. Everyone's and then, like, bless you. There was Tip a, the fedora. Yeah. There was a part was where me and Chip were at the table, just like yelling out, just being dickheads and then these two cops came up to us i was like here we go here's our night over and they go oh what are they? sisters yeah, bro, <laughs> and then, it was so and then funny. did a little prayer to us it was, I was so like, oh, God. Oh, it was so funny we got away with murder eh? nuns, it's, are, no, wait, nuns are invincible yeah because really, remember last mad monday when i almost got arrested because i pulled the yeah, sign, sign out, out and then yeah. all the lights yeah. and signs yeah, came out they came out with that ipad they're like where are you going mate i was like home and they're like good idea i'll <laughs> tell you what when i went to o'malley's after that a nun, you got to work a lot, but a nun couldn't get a fucking Uber that night. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Jesus, bro. 3.30 a.m. I was waiting for an Uber for like an hour. Yeah. An hour. It was really? fucking crim- It was sort of, it was sort of one of those benders where like a lot happened, but nothing at the same time sort of yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. Literally, it's just all over the shop, really. A lot of things that like, you just can't really talk about on, <laughs> on a yeah, podcast. Yeah. It's like, Last year we had the things like the karaoke, like you could talk about that. Yeah, but this year there's just a lot of shit that you just wouldn't want to say. Oh, on start on say publicly, it's shit that we can't post. Like a patron. Yeah, that we need fucking- something like that. Where, wait, if you start a patron, I know a lot of podcasts are where they can just say anything. If so, can someone still screen record it That's and like pin, it, assuming, pin it against yeah. you? Because like, there's no point. Because we'd be one. fucked. Yeah, there's no point in starting one if you're still going to get pinned yeah. for it. But yeah, literally. media experts, reach yeah, out. Reach out if, you, if you're into that. But yeah, like we so. sort of thought we'd just give you the highlights of the weekend. I don't know. Do we have any more on I'll, that? I'll tell, sorry, you go. You got you, bro. I'll tell you what. When it came Monday and I had my first meal since Saturday morning with Jacko, 
Bro. Oh, we had all you could eat at Nando's. Please sponsor us, Nando's. Oh, Seriously. There is nothing better than Nando's when you're hungover. Like, it's honestly. elite. It's so good. It's Shit through the, the eye of a needle after it, though. I don't even Fuck care. Me, me and the boys are having some cocktails, meanwhile. That was yeah. fire. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was, um, I'll tell you what, where we'll have some, hopefully the stories we can tell is we've got a footy trip in like four weeks to Cairns. Yeah. And there'll be, a, there'll be a lot out of that. Cairns not known for its laws either. Yeah. Not known so. for to like going to jail, whatever you do. Not known yeah. for much actually. When are, when are we going? Mid-October? Yeah, October If October anyone's 13th. in Cairns in mid-October, mm. reach out to us. Yeah. Have a little bit and of fun. And we're staying at Gilligan's. Yeah. yeah, bruh. Which apparently Gilligan's is good, it's, right? I've never. Yeah, shit. apparently it's good. Yeah. But like, you literally walk out of your room and walk downstairs. Seriously, though, reach out if you're in Cairns and we'll <laughs> yeah, fucking. It makes perfect sense. We'll hit you up. <laughs> um, should we just roll into the? Yeah, the Andy. Fight. Ended you in. had one, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. Should I actually say? Yeah, it? I reckon it's so. good. All right, LFI this week is you don't need a suit to argue the truth. Yeah. That is so good. Ain't that the truth? And Ain't shit, that. we <laughs> never wear. We never wear suits. No, we don't wear suits, but I tell you what, we argue a whole fucking lot. <laughs> <laughs> and our song of the week is Better Off by Ocean Party. Mm. Just give it a bit. I really wanted One Love by Bob Marley, but I'm going to get it one week here. <laughs> <laughs> Not one week at a time, man. Yeah. <laughs> Let us know if you enjoyed this episode. Comment mm. on whatever. Everything. Everything. Send us just, DMs, rate us five stars. Just get around us. The more you engage, the more we can do this and the more shit we can put out. Yep. And let me just say, good things to come. A lot yeah. of time. Mm. Good A lot. things to come. Footy season's just over. Just be patient. The grind's on. Yeah. Let's do this. Mayfield forever. Nah, better not steal Hello Sports. Will never. Yeah. 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 Cheers, yeah. Chip. <laughs> Ciao.